Welcome back to Barnsley, and it is the Players' Championship 12 final. So strap in for this one, because it could get very good. It has a degree of familiarity, because only six days ago, Heavy Metal won in this very hall. And Dirk van Dijvenboerde has got a Players' Championship title, but it wasn't in this country. It was in Germany. So what can he do on different soil? It is my pleasure to bring you this with PDC TV. I am Paul the Asset Nicholson, and I'm alongside Nigel Pearson for this final. Yeah, hi again, Paul. Yep, really looking forward to this one. A great way to round off what has been a really entertaining day here in Barnsley. Some top tungsten throughout the course of the afternoon. And this is a very fitting way to uh, round off the Players' Championship 12. Ryan Sill playing quite beautifully with the big score there. He beat Damon Hetter and comfortably as well, seven legs to two. He was taking the distance on three occasions today. One by Jose Hastissier in the quarters. Luke Humphreys in the last 16 when he averaged 103 and a half. And right at the start, he um, managed to squeeze through 6-5 as well. So... It's been a busy day, and he's had to do it the hard way on many occasions, 59. Ryan Searle. But we know what he's all about. We know what he's capable of, and Dirk van Dijvenboda has been superb. Double four gets us underway. Ryan Searle, first to eight, remember, in the Players' Championship final. And it's a break of throw as well, Paul. If he gets going like this, I'm not sure that Dirk has an answer, even with all of his armory. Because... Ryan Searle is maybe at a confidence level right now that he's never felt. We can talk about what he's done previously, but one thing he's never done 43. is win titles back-to-back. -back. Quite an achievement. Mm. I can say it from experience that winning two titles in two different weekends, but back-to-back -back titles is something that swells your confidence to another level. I've done it myself. And at that time, I thought there was nobody that could beat me. Ryan Searle right now is on a match win streak of 13 against the best players in the world. Not bad, is it? Not bad. Well, Dirk van Dijvenbo to beat Michael Smith 7-2 in the semi-final. He whitewashed Simon Whitlock 6-0 in the quarters. And the closest he's come to going the distance was against James Wade in the last 32, a 6-4 victory. And that was when James averaged 101 and a half as well. So it's been a real good day for Dirk van Dijvenboda, but Ryan Searle edging closer to a two-leg lead here. What's really interesting to me is that before Ryan was on 130, he'd obviously only thrown nine darts. Uh, 50. That is 50, Ryan. Good to check. 15 left. Double four again. 57. Now, Dirk might need this. I'm going to come back to my previous point in a second because it's very apt. Another one of those. He was begging for it. 32. Oh, oh, Dirk. Where did you pull that from? Well, my point is completely moot now. <laughs> Phenomenal. What a finish. Absolutely sensational. Well, if this is a sign of things to come, we're in for a bit of a treat in this final. Do you know what I was going to say, Nigel? Go on. Before he was on the 130... Dirk was looking at Ryan as if to say, oh, you're not in that mood, are you? <laughs> One of those moods where you just refuse to lose. Six days ago, it was 103 average in the final against no, Nathan Aspinall. And he defied 100 average from his opponent on that occasion. I would expect these two to be in three figures by the end of this one because of what we've already seen today. But there's one thing that jumps off my tablet when I've been doing statistics before this. And it's something to do with Dirk van Dijvenboerde in finals in the PDC. Whether it's a challenge to a level, pro to a level, in a major final. He's been in eight finals in the PDC and he's won one. 58. And I just wonder whether that'll play on his mind. But van Dijvenboerde here, down to 81 after scores of 180, 140 and a ton. So... Knows he's going to be back anyway. Dirk van Dijvenboda for a hold of throw. 
Well, considering what a, what's happened in the first two or three legs here, two one up is very rosy. Double sixteen. Nine scored. No score. Wow. And the comfort of knowing he's coming back. Yeah, he's fortunate, isn't he? He's going to have to do better than that if he's going to get the job done against Ryan Searle today. Curiously, oh, Ryan Searle's left a bogey number. Yeah, what's that all about? Maybe he knows his leg's done, but... Game well, it is, yeah, it is now. But, yeah, strange that. But uh, Van Dijvenbode got there in the end. 2-1 he leads here in the final of Players' well, Championship 12. Let's look at the finals record of Ryan Searle, then. It makes for much better reading. In his PDC career, at every level, he's been in 13 finals and won five. That is a ratio of 38%. 126. Now, I know we're looking at numbers, but the ratio of Dirk is 12%. So, in my speak, Ryan is three times more likely to win this final based on what we've already seen in their careers. So... If you are looking for a favourite, I would say that Ryan Searle is it, but only just. 140. Well, the form that he's in as well is fantastic. Um, but let's not let's not overlook Dirk. You know, he's a fantastic player. He's had a great run today. 84. A big, big day for Dirk van Dijvenbode. Absolutely. Game shot. Oh, beautiful 95 out for an 11 darter from Ryan Searle. It's 2-2. Mm. Can we please go the distance? Why not? Even if it's six consecutive legs to someone here to win it too, or it's going to be 15 legs in total, this one is going to be rapid. And we both know, Nides, that these players love to play quick players. When Dirk van Dijvenbode won his sole PDC senior title, he played the quickest of the lot in Martijn Kleermacher. So we know he's comfortable in a final against a, a really swift guy. 41 and 58 for Van Dijvenbode with the throw. And Ryan Searle cashes in with a 140 on the back of the ton. Stolen the darts back from Van Dijvenbode here. Which could be important, although perhaps not as important in the shorter format of first to six. One break of throw there, and it could be the decisive factor in the match, of course. But here, first to eight. Not necessarily so. We'll see. 131. Oh, he's playing well, isn't he? He really is. That's lovely thinking as well. I love that 17 switch from that position. That, again, is really That's good true. play. But unfortunately for Dirk, it does not get to a finish. He did the right thing there. But Searle shouldn't go ball. He should go 10. 90. This guy owns tops. And today, when he was tested to the limit, the one time... He pulled out a top shot 60. on 110 to beat Jose Justicia. 3-2. Ryan Searle needs tops. DM me, Ryan. Oh, what a switch that was. <laughs> Where's he pulled that from? Brilliant, brilliant darts. Not that one. That one. Brilliant. Ryan yeah, Searle. There can't be many times <laughs> in his whole darting life where he's won two legs consecutively on double, double 19. 19. It didn't hang about either. He just thought, right, I know where I'm going. I've got to do it. So it was brilliant. Just right. a little bit of a delay here as to why. I don't know. Something to do with Ryan Starr, is it? No. Answer the phone. <laughs> the only person I've ever seen who has actually looked at their phone during a match is Vincent van der Voort. It provided us with a lot of humour at the time. And that was in a European tour event. But... Whoever is trying to get in touch with Ryan Searle, <laughs> he's a little busy. <laughs> I told you not to ring me at the office. <laughs> yes, good quality showdown here. Sam. Fitting of a final. Ryan Searle has so far hit a 1-3-1 and a 1-2-3 in this leg. I'm going to be fascinated to see what hey, Ryan can do when it comes to the European Tour over the next six weeks. That is the next logical step for him. If he's going to win multiple players' championship titles in a season, three. maybe the next step for him is to do what Joe Cullen's doing, starting to win things like the Masters. And, of course, 100. get himself closer to that Premier League invite. 
60 left, and that is bad news for Dirk. He's not only 206 behind, but he's doing what you can't do against a rampant Ryan, and that is leaving him on tops, which is exactly what's about to happen. Yes. Tops it is for Ryan Searle, and he hits the red bit first time of asking. He is on fire, Ryan Searle, this afternoon. He's got that two-leg cushion, and now... I will say this, Dirk has to hold. He's got to hold his throw here. I agree. Ryan's not going to let a three-leg lead slip. But you say that Ryan's on fire. 140. Well, in a literal sense, if he was on fire, that's the only way we're going to get rid of that hair. <laughs> because I can't imagine Ryan still without that long hair now. It's just who he is. 137. And if you go around the Professional Darts Corporation room in Barnsley on a Saturday morning and you had some sort of poll about Ryan Searle. They'd all say, well, oh, top guy. Everybody likes this guy. This is nice from Dirk Van Dijvenbode. Upping the ante is down to 86. This is a good final. Proper final, this. Brilliant. 65. Don't miss, Dirk. Just don't miss. Mm. Lovely dart for double 16. Sure. Nice. And he doesn't miss. That's another 11 darter. Great final standard right here. Searle, back to work. Well done. Searle averaging 105.6. Van Dijvenbode at 90 at the moment. Bit of a chasm between the averages, but only one leg between them. And that Nate. gap might start to decrease if Dirk's going to start finding maximums. He's been more likely to hit maximums today than anybody. He's been on that silly level that we started to see from him at the start of last season. It is the type of game, Paul, isn't it, where if this was in a big arena with a big crowd, nice. the atmosphere would be electric. They'd be raising the roof, these two, wouldn't they? Absolutely right. This is a typically brilliant 2022 game. Yes. But if you look at these two four years ago... This is on the outside boards. You wouldn't even bat an eyelid. That's no disrespect to these guys because they were very different four years ago. They found their confidence over the last two to three years. No, Dirk's come back through Q school. Ryan has materialized into this heavyweight dart player that everybody fears now. Yeah, he really is such well, a good player. But Van Dijvenbode is putting some pressure on and this would be a real steal for a four-all game. 420s for Bull. Yo, what a dart that is. Bull. 19. Under pitched and now it's 420s for Searle. Oh, he's missed the single. Well, Van Dijvenbode to break back and go four apiece. We might only be halfway through this match. Game. Double 80 gets and Dirk van Dijvenbode levels here. Four legs apiece. It's a cracking final, this one. <clears throat> and what we have is the world number 15 playing against the world number 16. Yes. And if the 16th person, which is Dirk, wins this match... He not only gets his second player's championship win, what? but he would get Ryan's ranking off him, which is a very interesting subplot. It's what? only small at this stage of the season, as we see a 171 from Searle. He's using that 17 switch a bit more now. I like it a lot. Now, the reason I like it is because if he gets the maximum here and leaves 150, he can go same treble for double 18. It's not going to happen. But you can see the method around it. That grouping that he has with those 32 gram darts is so good. For a big shot like 150, he can go two treble 19s. He'd much rather do that than have 141 for a nine darter. 96. Yeah, gripping stuff here. It's really a case of who blinks first, I think, at this particular stage. Searle's a little bit frustrated there. It's probably when it comes to Ryan. Not even mattering if he blinks because he can't see anyway. <laughs> well, he's taken out the one. He's hit a one seven one, a ton and a ton. 
um, so far in this leg, Ryan Searle. So it's pretty impressive darts. 139. Good uh, score. Great score. It's three times he's left 130 in this final. Yeah. Can he hit one finally? Oh, so close. Width of a wire away. Absolutely. Now Van Dyvenbode needs 66. Double 18, and he leads 5 4. Three away now. But I think we're a long way away from the end of this match. After all the brilliance that we've seen from Ryan Searle, Dirk has found a way to the lead for the first time after nine legs. Now, all of a sudden, we're seeing the real Dirk right. van Dyven border, and those 180s are flowing now. We are now, Paul, in the territory of where a break of throw can win the match. 81. It can, it can be the, the game-changing moment. But isn't it key that you said maybe three legs ago that he must hold if he had any chance in this final? He did. Yeah. And when he got that hold, he's turned into a monster. Look at him go. Wow, this is proper scoring power. A 180 and a 140 so far for Van Dyvenbode in the 10th leg of this final. This is great to see. Not if you're Ryan Searle. No, but from our point of view. <laughs> Absolutely, we're completely neutral. This is a possible 10 data. Not anymore. <laughs> but this is a masterful leg from a masterful dart player. Searle won't give up. He's in the same range. These sort of exchanges could be massive for the result of this match. Yeah, this is huge, Paul. Absolutely huge. If he can take this out. Double 18 for 6-4. Okay. Big moment for Dirk van Dijvenbode, and he knows it as well. It's a break of throw. 6-4 he leads with that finish. And now, he has the opportunity to hold his throw and go within one of the match. That could be a huge moment. Missing nothing. Shrugging those shoulders like Brock Lesnar. He looks really energetic as well. And at times, at the later parts of players' championships in the past, I've seen Dirk struggling for energy. Sometimes he needs to manufacture that on the stage through exuberance, maybe a bit of chainsaw dancing, which he does. But right now, he is full of beans. Looks ready to win again. This is awesome. Absolutely awesome darts from Dirk van Dijvenbode. And Ryan Searle has just drifted a little bit. 81. His scoring has hit the buffers, really, Ryan Searle, which is easy for me to say when he's averaging 105. Oh, look at Van Dijvenbode go. A 140, a ton, and a 180. Down to 81 to go within one leg of the match. It's looking good for Dirk Van Dijvenbode here. These 180s are crippling Ryan Searle in this match. Double 18. Two nines. He's not going to go for it. I love that play. I love it. Makes sense. Yep. The last thing you want to do is be stuck on nine. Quick check of Ryan's score. See, he wasn't on a finish. But this is brilliant play from well, Dirk van Dijvenbode. Great board management. And now needs double eight to go within one leg of the, f the victory. Game there shot. you go. Double four goes for him. And it's seven legs to four in favour of Dirk van Dijvenbode. And now Ryan Searle has to win four straight legs. And he hits a 180. Wow. What a strange, strange week it's been in darts. Only seven days ago, we saw Peter Wright 4-0 up and lose 8-4. 100. Ryan Searle here was in control when he got to 4, and since then he's won nothing. What an odd sport this can be. 140. This is a beautiful leg from Ryan Searle, but he's constantly going to be looking over his shoulder thinking, where's Dirk? Averages, wow, 106 Ryan Searle, brilliant. 98 Dirk van Dijvenbode, but he averages 106, but he's three legs down. What, what a strange game this is. I remember when Chris Dorby lost one of these finals and he averaged 110. <laughs> Averages don't win trophies. Ridiculous. Ridiculous. Okay. To start the fight back, 
It's his favourite. 36. He'll be back against an opponent that he's only beaten once in their last meeting in 2021. At the end of last year, Ryan won by six legs to two. 40. He'd dearly love Eight. another victory, but he needs three more legs without Dirk getting any. Yeah, it's a hold of throw for Ryan Searle. So Dirk van Dijvenbode now, is this his moment? Can he get the job done with a hold of throw in this leg? It's a great start for him. Another one of those. 100. Just the ton for now, but it puts pressure on Ryan Searle. Sometimes history repeats itself. 60. When it comes to score lines. When Dirk won his title last year, it was 8-6 against Cleomaca, and he averaged 0 0.2 of a point better than his opponent in that 8-6 win against Cleomaca. The just, averages here are just telling you lies. He just needs to stay calm. Just before his first visit to the, the his second visit there, which he hit 57, he's taking his time. He's almost putting himself under pressure, or is he just trying to maintain his composure? Because he's fallen apart a little bit here. 96. Recovered well with that last dart. I don't know whether Dirk is just thinking too much, overthinking as you guys do occasionally, Paul. We have a proclivity for that. That 180 does get Ryan a little bit ahead, but not to a finish. Dirk has got six darts from here. It's a hard conversion, but oh, now it's a lot more possible. Searle must find something like a 1-3-3 three, three here to put himself in position if Dirk cannot find the Tom Plus out to win the tournament. 46. That 1-3-4 from Van Dijvenboda was his best visit of the leg. A 57 on his second visit could have been costly. No, it's not going to go out here, so 98. this now has to go for Ryan Searle because Van Dijvenboda is sit sitting on double eight. Yep. 62 left, Ryan. 12 and bolt to stay in it. Oh, oh boy, wow. what was that, Ryan? What a shot. And Dirk is thinking, I've got double eight for the title. Oh, no, you haven't. Nice as well. He just said, well done there to Ryan, who nodded back. And that might just give uh, Ryan Searle the lift that he needs. If he holds his throw here, we are going the distance, and we don't mind that at all. That 119 is only hitting that spot 140. by world class players. Yep. That was a world class shot. This is a brilliant final point. And it's not over. It. Look at that. This is ridiculous darts. 4180s apiece. 104 average Ryan, 97 Dirk. Dirk knows that he will have the throw in the decider. Five. But that guarantees nothing. Ryan knows, just as well as other people, 127. That you do not win a darts match if you do not have a match dart. Dirk has not had one. 54 left after nine. 180. Oh, that's an incredible 180, but 54 for Searle for 7-7. Seven, seven. Are we going the distance? 14. Now then. Not yet. Well. 136, two trebles needed. Oh, wow. For a 136 for the title? No. He's had a match dart now. Ryan is surviving, Boom. and he's taking us all the way. Oh, boy, this is good. Well done, boys. Great stuff. Deciding leg. Dirk van Dijvenboda has the throw. This has been a brilliant final. Good luck to both of them. That's what I say. Absolutely right. They deserve every single slice of luck that they can carve out for themselves. 100. Ryan Searle. What a survivor like this has been. Good second dart. Anyone. Only matches what Dirk threw, so... In fact, no, he got 81 there, didn't he? I'm miscounting there. So, anyway. Dirk will have said to himself before this leg began, 12 darter wins. Yes. Because in every likelihood, Ryan's not going to hit a nine. That's the level they're playing at. Only 57 for Dirk. 100. A steady ton for Ryan. It's very even here now. Yeah, one trouble visit's become good now. 
Dirk would love more than that. He's going to get more. Just. <laughs> That's good. The advantage is 116. But Searle comes again. And he wants to stay straight. He's got no room left. No. I think he did the right thing there. He really didn't want to go away from that 20, but it was the right shot to switch. Big visit for Dirk needed here now. And he knows it. Took a deep breath. Took his time. Great second dart down the board. 34. That is superb to leave 70 with the 134. And look at this from Ryan Searle. Can we extend this match? I'm afraid not, Nigel. Dirk has had one match dart. He should get at least one more. He does a double 16. It was almost double six. Double 16 to win it. He needs to be comfortable. Oh. And he fancy, wasn't. Didn't fancy it, Paul. I did not fancy that, the way he was hesitating. Bullseye for the title. Not this time, Ryan Searle. And Dirk van Dijvenbode could hardly watch. But now he needs double 16 for Players' Championship 12. He will be deliberate. He takes a deep breath. And Dirk van Dijvenbode has won Players' Championship 12 here in Barnsley with a fantastic performance, edging out Ryan Searle in a stunning final. He wins by eight legs to seven, but well done, both players. That was superb stuff. It really was. You can see that Dirk has been tested to the limit in that final by a brilliant Ryan Searle. The doubling in that final was incredible. 50% for Dirk, 53% for Searle. The average doesn't matter. 104 for Searle. It was six better than his opponent. But averages don't win matches. 98.04 and that high check out of 146 just lit the touch paper when it came to the final. It was early, but Dirk needed it at the time as well as that burst in the middle.